Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oyer, emergency physician and founder of ED Exit Video. This is a website that collects educational videos for patients, and in this video, we're going to be talking about gold stones. Gold stones are solid particles that form from bile in the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a small sac like organ located in the right upper part of the abdomen. It is located right under the liver and it is part of the biliary system. It is responsible for storing bile and other digestive enzymes. Bile is a fluid made by the liver to help digest fats. It contains several different substances including cholesterol and bilirubin. Bile is stored inside the gallbladder until it's needed. When we eat a high-fat, high-cholesterol meal, the gallbladder contracts and sends bile into the small intestine via a small tube. The bile then gets mixed with the ingested contents and helps with digestion. There are two types of gallstones. Mainly, there are others, but mainly is cholesterol stones on the top left and accounts for 80% of all gallstones and form from too much cholesterol in the bile. Pigment stones, the ones on the right top, form in people with liver and blood disease in which they have too high levels of bilirubin. Gallstones can be as small as a grain of sand, often referred to as sludge, to as big as a golf ball. Gallstones in the gallbladder often cause no problems. If there are many or large, they can cause pain when the gallbladder contracts in response to a fatty meal. They can also cause trouble uh, if they move out of the gallbladder. If they cause a blockage of any of the ducts connecting the gallbladder to the liver or to the pancreas within the digestive system, serious complications like pancreatitis or even infection of the gallbladder can result, something called cholecystitis. Risk factors for the formation of gallstones include the following. Female gender, being overweight, losing large amounts of weight too fast, starvation diets, and genetic predisposition. Also certain medications like birth control pills and cholesterol-lowering drugs. Symptoms of gallstones. The most common symptom is pain in the right upper part of the abdomen. When the pain comes in episodes, it is often referred to as gallbladder attack or biliary colic. Attacks occur every few hours, days, weeks, or even months, even as far apart as years apart. The pain usually starts about 30 minutes after ingestion of a fatty meal. The pain is usually severe, dull, and constant. It can last a few hours and radiate into the right shoulder or even the back. It occurs frequently at night and may even awaken the patient from sleep. Other symptoms include nausea, vomiting, fever, indigestion, belching and bloating, intolerance to fatty meals, and jaundice, which is a yellow discoloration of the skin due to the accumulation of bilirubin in the blood. Because of the symptoms of gallbladder disease can resemble those of other abdominal conditions, the medical provider will obtain a detailed history to consider or exclude other conditions. There is no specific blood test to identify a gallstone. The blood work done in the emergency department is done to rule out other causes of abdominal pain or to find potential complications of having a gallstone obstructing the biliary flow. Ultrasound is the best imaging modality to examine the gallbladder for stones. Ultrasound uses painless sound waves to produce images of the gallbladder. Ultrasound is exceptionally good at showing abnormalities in the biliary system, including stones, but also signs of inflammation like a thickened gallbladder wall, fluid around the gallbladder, or a stone stuck in one of the ducts. A HIDA scan. In this test, a harmless radioactive solution is inserted through an IV line into the patient. The liquid is absorbed by the liver and then stored in the gallbladder, just like bile. If the gallbladder is malfunctioning or obstructed, um, then the capture of the radioactive material signals are different and thus we can diagnose a dysfunctional or sickened gallbladder. CT scan. Similar to an X-ray, however, much more detailed, it shows the gallbladder and biliary ducts. It can detect gallbladder stones, obstruction, dilated ducts, and other complications. It can also see the liver, pancreas, and other organs. An ERCP a flexible 
tube, the endoscope is inserted into the stomach and bowel and can visualize parts of the biliary system. The patient is sedated through it and the tube is passed through the mouth into the stomach and bowel. The physician can then inject temporary dye into the biliary system to detect obstructions, stones, etc. A stone can be mechanically removed during this procedure. There is no permanent medical cure for gallstones, but there are many measures that can be taken to remove the stones or give relief from the pain associated with gallstones. These are all temporary except for cholecystectomy, surgery by which the gallbladder is removed. This procedure can be done through a laparoscope or an open approach. If your gallstones were found incidentally and you have no symptoms, no treatment is necessary. ESWL Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy is a device that generates waves and can break stones into tiny pieces that can then be passed into the bowel when the gallbladder contracts. Medications that try to dissolve stones. It may take months, even years, for these medications to work through and dissolve the stones. The stones often do come back after treatment, and these medications work mostly on cholesterol-type stones. Diet. You should avoid meals high in fats, but also high sugar content foods as these stimulate the gallbladder contraction and can make the biliary colic recur. Also, having a low cholesterol diet will help decrease the precipitation of new cholesterol stones. When to come back to the ER? If the abdominal pain cannot be controlled with over-the-counter pain medications, if the person begins to vomit or develops fever, chills, sweats, or the person becomes jaundiced. You must follow up promptly, within 48 hours of the initial visit, with your primary care physician or surgeon for reassessment, and to talk about more permanent treatment options like surgery. If you have continuous or worsening pain, return to the ER right away. For other medical education videos like this one, go to edexitvideo.com. But remember, these are educational videos and should never replace the care or the attention of a medical healthcare professional.